So here we all are in our isolation, sort of special time, being at home, finding things to do, keeping um, good relations with our loved ones. So my loved one travels a lot. So when he's home, he pretends to really like healthy food and things that I make. But whenever he gets a chance, he always suggests, let's go out to eat. So he sort of gets away from my diet and my habits. So here we are together. And I think he um, is having a bit too much of the healthy food thing and enough already ordering from Shake Shack. So I'm doing a really simple salad that I think anybody can like, not just somebody who is into healthy food. This is healthy food and it's pretty and it's delicious. So I'm gonna share it with you since I think it's something that looks good, tastes amazing, and it's so simple, anybody can do it. It's not, you know, a genius recipe. It's just my way of getting my man to eat healthy food in the most normal circumstance. Okay, so it's really easy, no, no brain stuff. So obviously salad is super, super good. So this is gonna be a plant-based evening. Um, and so a whole bunch of mixed greens. He of course says, why can't we have the white the white lettuce. The white lettuce is good, I'm sure, but we like colorful, so I have to make this really appealing. So, of course, tomatoes, um, lots of vitamin C, which we all need right now, so we shake up the tomatoes. Vitamin C, obviously, super helpful at times like this. Some really good protein, Chickpeas are so great and they give it a good kind of um, nutty, kind of meaty taste that um, really is fantastic when you mix it up with um, dressings. And for me, if anybody knows anything about me, olive oil is my life. I have it every day, I put it in everything, I put it on my body, it's in the ingredients in my product. So olive oil and lemon are a big part of the simple dressing that I do on everything. Olives are really delish, and again, adding those in for a little bit of that extra, it's sort of part of the dressing. And then, um, avocado, obviously we all love avocado. Avocado is, you know, another healthy plant-based, great for everything. I put it in smoothies. I thicken up so much with avocado, but it's delicious in a salad. And I really, um, I really like to have potatoes every once in a while. And a really good baked potato goes a long way and sort of it adds bulk to the salad. So, um, and I love baked potatoes and olive oil. Obviously, olive oil makes everything wonderful. But, so I'm adding um, a baked potato to the salad as well. And so here's the simple salad and basically I add lemon, of course. Um, I love lemon, lemon alkalines the system. It's so great. It's as healthy as the olive oil and the combination of the two together are so delicious. So I obviously put it in everything. Um, I love, all, I love lemon and ginger when I wake up in the morning, hot, or even as a cool drink. So 
lemon is a big part of um, my daily intake as well. So lemon in the salad is, is good. And um, obviously the combination of olive oil and lemon. This olive oil is really yummy. It's um, a French olive oil from an orchard of a friend of mine. She's an amazing woman. Um, she's built this olive orchard. The French may not have the best olive trees, but they have the most perfect finishing. And you know the French, when they want to do it right, they do it right. And my friend Christine is just a spectacular woman. Um, and when she comes to New York, I plan to interview her on my podcast and learn about the life uh, in an olive orchard. And it's, she's amazing. And she has people from the entire area near Aix-en-Provence that come to, they all have olive trees on their property and they come and she presses it for them. And then she does these magnificent combinations. And then I take sea salt, um, and I put this, it's called real salt and it's from Utah and it's the cleanest, best. So this simple salad, it's really thick with ingredients, um, is so delicious and filling and healthy and yummy. So wish me luck on this one. And then the other veggie thing that you guys really have to try because it doesn't look like it's anything special. Cauliflower, I mean, we're all familiar now with cauliflower pizza and cauliflower flour. And, um, but this is another crunchy thing. So again, I take olive oil and put it all over the cauliflower. And then again, I take the lemon and squeeze a whole bunch of it over the cauliflower. And I even would do more, so I'm gonna do some more. And so it gets this really tart, olive oily taste, but, and then of course we add the sea salt, but here's, here is the real powerful thing. So turmeric, obviously we have great ingredients, but when you add the turmeric, it's a whole other thing. I know it sounds a little weird putting this together, but I promise you, just get a head of cauliflower, break it up into little flowers, and put olive oil and lemon on it with sea salt and turmeric. It's so delicious. And I think a really good, yummy thing too. So I have this in the refrigerator, and whenever I want to just have something crunchy, I go right to it. So wish me luck on this stay at home adventure with our loved ones. Um, I'm really hoping that I prevent a Shake Shack attack again. I'm trying with this one. I will let you know how it goes. Take care.